Okay, Cancer, so we are doing your Torn Between Two spread. All right, the Pagan Tarot is going to represent person number one. And the Gilded Tarot Royale will represent person number two. So I'm going to pull an overall energy to see how you feel about each situation. So how does Cancer feel about person one? And person number two. Alright, so the overall energy for person number one, we have religious factors coming out. I'm not going to lie, what I felt when that card came out was um, this person right here is a little too, I'm going to say religious, not even spiritual. I feel like they're a little bit too, I almost feel like over the top when it comes, um, you know, to that. And I don't feel like it's something that you want to be, um, that, that you want to be uh, forced into or, or pushed upon. You know what I mean? Person number two, we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I feel like um, over here, this is um, a new energy. And I feel like it's um, a different energy from anything you've ever met. All right. Um, where over here, it's like, you know, you, you, I, I almost feel like you're coming out of a certain phase in life. And I feel like this person over here, person number two, they're the ones that have kind of opened you up to a different way of thinking almost. I'm just going to shuffle a couple of times and get each spread out. Um, and I almost feel like I'm, I don't know. Okay. What I feel like is, I'm just going to say over here, what came into my mind is like, you've been in a marriage or a situation, a marriage for a long time. And this person is going on this, um, holy grail path. Okay. And it's not something that you're interested in. And I feel like the, the religion, um, aspect of this relationship is kind of pulling you away from this person. You know, I almost feel like it's, a this person has had some sort of an awakening or an epiphany when it comes to religion and they are all about Christ and Bible thumping and you got to be on their, their page. But I feel like at some point along the way, you've been talking to somebody over here. I don't feel like you've cheated on this person, but I feel like you've started talking to somebody that's really, um, awakened you in different terms. Okay. That's not going to be for everybody. I think I've already broke the deck, but all right, over here we have card one, three, five, and seven. And then over here, person number two. So cancer, person number one, what do they represent? So we have the six of cups, I'm sorry, the nine of cups coming out. All right. So this person, I feel like at one point in time, uh, they did embody everything that you felt like you needed or wanted in life. Okay. This person over here, um, uh, you know, a form of wish fulfillment, um, everything that you've wanted, right? Um, so you thought. All right, what does this person over here represent? We have um, the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I almost feel like over here, um, what is going on is um, this person, I, I feel like you and this person know each other. All right. And I, I kind of feel like there is a certain attraction level between both of you. And I almost feel like this person isn't letting on. All right, but you're already starting to, to develop um, deeper feelings for this person. I feel like they feel the same about you, but they're not going to tell you. They're not going to let you know. And I feel like it's because of the situation over here. So no, I don't feel like there's been any um, cheating or anything going on. Um, almost like a, 
I almost feel like this person even feel, feels bad for um, allowing you to open up emotionally to them about what's going on over here. Um, what can you get out of this relationship? Okay. We have the universe coming out. So the world card. Um, so this right here is about endings and beginnings. Okay. I feel like over here, what can you get out of this? I almost feel like your partner has changed completely. Like I'm, when I'm seeing this universe, you know, this is about, um, the world card is about cycles, endings, cycles, ending, and then new beginnings. But I almost feel like what's coming out over here is that this person, they have turned their cycle over. Okay. But, um, I feel like it's like they, they left you behind. Okay. I feel like what can you get out of this um, situation is I almost feel like um, an ultimatum. I feel like this person has, uh, I don't know why I'm getting this heavy sense that somebody has just turned completely like, um, I don't know. I, I almost feel like I'm talking to an older couple on this side and, uh, and older, I mean, early forties, not twenties, not early thirties. Okay. I feel like this is a mature couple. We'll say that. Um, but somebody's had an epiphany over here and it's, it's like they've changed and they're all about Christ and, and God, and you got to read the Bible and we got to find a church to go to, or they have completely submerged themselves in the church. Whereas y'all went to church on Sunday, they're going Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday, Friday, whatever, you know, um, I feel like this person is, uh, I don't know if they read something or I don't know. I just feel weird. This is not going to be for everybody, but this person over here, it, it, they're, I almost feel like you're, feel, you're like, uh, you almost don't know this person anymore because of their change. What can you get out of this relationship over here? We have the moon card. Um, I feel like this card is coming out because um, you have opened up emotionally to somebody. And this person right here is going to be like, oh my God, you know, secrets and lies and blah, blah, blah. Um, to be honest, I feel like the... I don't feel like your energy feels any type of um, negativity towards this. I feel like it's, um, if this person finds out about this person, it's going to be, I feel like all hell will break loose and they, and you're going to go to hell. They're going to tell you that. Okay. Um, I almost, I don't know. I just feel really weird about this spread cancer. I have no idea who I'm talking to, but, um, it's, it's, this is a weird thing. Like this went from wish fulfillment to this person turned weird. I don't know why, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be offensive. Um, I feel like this person just turned, they changed. They're not who you knew anymore. They they changed and they're not the same person that you met. All right. And I don't necessarily feel like it's a change for the better, especially if they're giving you ultimatums when it comes to religion and being with them. And I almost feel like I'm dealing with somebody like that. Like if they even knew that you were watching a tarot read right now, you would be going to hell for that. Okay. I just feel like that's the type of person that, that this is problems that can arise from this. All right. We have seven of cups, um, options. Um, this person finding out that you have been opening up to somebody and I feel like it's the opposite sex. You've been opening up to somebody about this situation right here. Not necessarily that you're cheating or anything like that, but that is going to be a problem for this person because you're going to go to hell problems over here. We have the page of pentacles. Um, I almost feel like it's like if I, um, like, I feel like you feel a deep connection to this person, but I almost feel like you're questioning how would I even go about this situation if this doesn't work out? Because I feel like you feel very strongly pulled to this person for some reason. Um, I feel there, I feel like there's a lot of quietness going on over here with this person. I feel like this person just listens, um, opposed to talking. All right. I feel like this person over here, they're, uh, I don't know. Their energy is very, um, I, I, I don't want to say relaxed. I want to say they feel the same about you, but they're uncomfortable about, they're uncomfortable about it to the point that they might not have even told you that they feel the same for you, uh, because of your situation over here. What is the advice? Okay, over here we have the strength card coming out. 
And I feel like this is your team saying you, you need to be um, a little bit stronger when it comes to telling somebody what you want. I, I, it's like, I almost feel like, yeah, you got the nine of cups coming out over here, but I don't know, for some reason, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who just wants to be done over here. It's like, this is not what you want anymore. I don't want to go to church five times a week. I don't want to. That's not how I believe. You know, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be on your path. You know, we're, we, we're individuals, you know, and you know, if you don't want to be on their path, that means that they're not your soulmate. They're not the one that you're supposed to be with. You know, if you guys aren't on the same path together. They're not what you, they're, they're not who you're supposed to be with. That's the only way I know how to say that. Your advice over here is justice. All right. Justice. Um, how, you know, what I feel is happening is I almost feel like you need to pull your emotional energy back from this person, okay? You need to pull the energy back from this person and deal with this over here wholly because this person is never going to open up to you the way you want them to, okay? And I so for torn between two on this spread, I, I apologize, Cancer, but I, I feel like I am... This is like, I feel like I'm talking to one person, if that, two maybe. Um, I don't know how many cancer people read my, or watch my stuff, but uh, I feel like this is very specific. Like, this is not about choosing. This is about this. I almost feel like this person wants you to pull your energy away from them and deal with this. But I feel like they're too, like, meek or timid to even tell you that, but that's what they want. And I feel like your team is also telling you too, because um, if you don't want to be in this situation... You just need to handle this um, before this person will even open up because, you know, they got the four of pentacles coming out. They're guarded. You know, they're going to listen to you. And I don't feel like they mind listening to you, but they're not going to give you anything on them. They're not even going to entertain the idea of you two being together. But I do feel like they feel like that about you, but they're not going to tell you. They want you to deal with this. Okay. Um, I feel like you deal with this and then if you want to come back and revisit this, I feel like that person actually is going to be open-minded to it. Um, but you need to figure out what you want and, and, um, yeah, don't entertain the idea of bringing this person into a third party because they won't go for it at all. Um, all right. So cancer, I'm going to leave it right there. Obviously this is not going to resonate for everybody, but I feel like you know what you need to do. Um, if this person is not who you uh, want or they're not, they, they're not who you knew. All right. I feel like it's time to let it go, but you got to deal with this first. Free will. Do what you want. All right. Bye guys.